time for What Are the Odds? Presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. Your app is ready, Emperor. All right, let's welcome back JJ and Anthony. Football picks for the Saturday games of Super Wild Card Weekend. First up, Seahawks and the Niners. Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers are currently nine point favorites at home. JJ, who do you like in this game? So look, uh, the Niners are going to win the game. They're the much better team. I think they're going to end up playing in Arizona in the Super Bowl. But I do think the old coach, Pete Carroll, is going to have some tricks up his sleeve. And I think he will play the nobody believes in us card. Look, San Francisco beat him twice in the regular season. They overwhelmed them on Thursday night. The conditions of this game, it's going to be sloppy. It's going to be windy. It might even be rainy. I think that might play into the hands of the Seahawks with Kenneth Walker. It's a big number, Anthony McCarron. And all of these favorites, there are a lot of them with the quarterback uncertainty in the games coming up on Sunday. One of these underdogs is going to cover. I'm going to take a shot here. Niners win. Seattle stays within the number. Wow, but the Niners are so good, J.J. Top point differential in the NFL this year. Top scoring defense in the NFL this year. Uh, I mean, I know Brock Purdy is the third quarterback that they've had, but he has been dynamite. I mean, this guy is a revelation, right? And then you get uh, Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, all-world tight end. There are so many weapons here and the suffocating defense. I think they're going to cover that. Yeah, with a win, that'll be a three-game sweep of the Seahawks this season. All right, to the nightcap, Chargers and Jaguars, Justin Herbert and Trevor Lawrence facing off against each other should be points of plenty. Jaguars currently one and a half point home underdogs. JJ, who do you like in this one? All right, I love this one. This is my favorite play, I think, a wild card weekend. I love Jacksonville getting a point and a half. First of all, Brent Staley, are you kidding me? How do you put Mike Williams on the field in a meaningless Week 18 game knowing his injury history, and now you don't have your best weapon for Wild Card Weekend when you need him the most. It's just malpractice from a coaching standpoint, in my opinion. And I think the Jaguars have a major leg up. Doug Peterson is a Super Bowl-winning head coach. Now, I know, Anthony, they did not look great last week against the Tennessee Titans. I think they got a lot of the jitters out of this system. I like Jacksonville in an upset. Yeah, Travis Etienne could be a big factor in this game because the Chargers have a lot of trouble stopping the run. They've given up 10 100-yard rushing games this year to backs, so he could have a big day. I mean, Trevor Lawrence is emerging as a talent in this league. He's finally got a coach who knows what to do with him, so he bloomed this year. It could be a big day for Jacksonville. Yep, Justin Herbert, Trevor Lawrence both making their playoff debuts, and these two teams have never met in the playoffs. So this Think about the hair, it. too. If you are a lot of hair. That's a flow sure. matchup. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's locks. a flow matchup. Yeah, that's what I'm paying attention to. All right, guys, thank you so much. <laughs> 